family welcome back to another video and in today's video season one is right around the corner for bo6 and warzone and with that being said i want to do a ranking tier list of the maps we have in bo6 right now because i want to come back later down the road and reflect on them and see are these maps really that bad let's go ahead get started so i'm not wasting your all's time but if you do enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like subscribe it's free helps out greatly Let's do this, shall we? Babylon, right off the bat. And I would say this map right here, think of Shipment, but a little bit bigger. Now, I don't know if I like it more than Shipment. I've had cool games on it, and I've had bad games on it, like Spawn Traps and shit. I think if I was to rank this map where it stands right now for me and my feelings, I hate it. I truly hate it. Okay, I'm gonna put D. I feel like I'll play it more than like, let's say, MW3 Derail if it does pop up, but I don't despise it to the point where I'm crying about it. Does that make sense? I Do I want to put C then? I mean, I'm more okay. I can tolerate it. Out of all the maps here, though, I'm going to leave a D for now, and we're going to come back to it. Derelict. Now, my fiance loves this map. Me, on the other hand, uh, uh, I, I couldn't go S here. I feel like if it was the fiance, she'd put S. I don't think it's, I think it's a solid map. It's just very small. The, some of these maps are just extremely small in this game. But I feel like you can have a good time on Derelict, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know, man. Ugh. I think I'm going to put it A. Is it a B? Is it a B? Also, let me clarify. I feel like I always forget to do this. Right now, as a player, I am a TDM, Kill Confirmed, Domination, and Hardpoint player. Those are my modes that I choose to play, you know. If you're an S and D guy and this map's terrible in S and D, I I wouldn't know. I haven't I've played like one game of S and D and was on red card, so I'm gonna leave it A. So the these maps, the the small four maps, the face off maps, I haven't really played, and I know that's weird, but I did play them in the beta. So my opinions on them are more from the beta because I haven't needed to play them because I don't want to. You know what I mean? So Gala, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna put B. I'd much rather be playing Gala than Babylon any day, I think. You know, I feel like you could go long shots here, you know, for camo challenges as well and stuff. I think Gala's okay. It's not terrible. Low Town. Can I be honest? I kind of like Low Town. I like Low Town a lot. I, well, I, here, this is how I need to see it. Would I rather play Low Town over Derelict? I actually want to say yes. Yeah, I would much rather be playing Low Town. Like, if it was in a pick feed right now, I would pick Low Town over Derelict, I think. Right the second, if I was not playing with the fiance, I kind of fuck with Lowtown. I know that whole water side is annoying and shit, but I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like it a little. I kind of like it. It's different. The design's cool. So we're gonna put that there. Payback. It's a solid map. I, it's not my favorite as of now, but I will say I I like how it looks a lot. It plays okay. It's a smaller uh, map. Hard points a little crazy on it, I would say. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put I'm gonna leave that there. The pit. I don't really like the pit. Like, honestly, I think I'd much rather play, play Babylon than the pit. And the reason why is I understand that pit is, you know, a whole different map, right? It's a little bit smaller. It's a little more chaotic. I don't know. I just don't like the top pieces. I don't like that. So I'd much rather p put the pit here. Protocol. I actually fuck with protocol a lot. I really like it. It's a little bit bigger, which is okay. Big is okay. So it's small. Keep it up. 2 point centimeter defeaters, all right? We got this. But protocol. I kind of like protocol. I, I I put it in A. I don't think it's my favorite. Not now. No, I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I don't mind when it comes up, though. Red card. So red card. If I was to... So this is a weird one here for me. Red card, I... <laughs> I like. <laughs> but don't get me wrong. So if it was 6v6 red card, from my experience... Easy C to D. But if we're talking 10v10 red card, the map changes in such a way that it's so fun to play. So, with that being said, I think I'm just going to keep a red card here just because of 10v10. Like, I kind of want to put it up here, but, like, that's if it's in a specific game mode. So, I'm just going to leave it in C. Rewind, I honestly... I <laughs> It's a C tier for me. I don't know why, but ever since the beta, I have hated this map. I don't know if it was... I, it might have, can I be honest with you, I think I literally hate Rewind because what happened is it came into the beta rotation and so I played this map non-stop for that, for like that day 
because everyone wanted to try the new map, and I feel like I just built up pent-up aggression about it. But if I had to put my feelings aside, I think I could put it B, but that's about it. I don't think it's much better for me. Scud? I fuck with Scud a lot. I know that might be crazy to say, but hear me out, okay? Scud is kind of lit. It is. It's kind of lit. I, I like it. They changed the lighting on it from the beta. So it makes it look a little bit better. You know, Sniper's Paradise. I kind of like playing Domination on it too a lot. I like the B flag. But the... I'm going to put high B. I don't know if I can put it A. But I do like Scud a lot. I might put it A. I, I might. Skyline is easily one of the better maps. I feel like this goes without question. I love the looks of it. I love the way it plays. The uh, B domination flags in the pool, which is unique and different. You know, I, I really like Skyline. I think Skyline's really cool. Stakeout, it's a cool camo grinding map, and that's all it has going for it. So, like, I'll put it just in C. <laughs> I'll just put it there, and that's it. I'm not there. Eh, that's it. Warhead, uh... I haven't felt have one good game on Warhead at all. And every time I go face off, it's only Warhead. So, like, this might not be Warhead's fault, but I'm just gonna... Subsonic. So, at the beginning of this game, everyone picked it. I hated it. Right now, my feelings on it... I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Alright, come here, come here, come here. Alright. Subsonic. I think it's going in A. I think it's going in A. I don't know if it's better than the E3. You know, I don't know if it's my favorite. It's small. It's cool to play on. My fiance is calling me. All right, I'm back to the video. <laughs> Vault. Where? What map was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Warhead? No, I don't even remember, to be honest. Okay. Vault. Can I be honest? Vault, I like the layout a lot. I've had an okay set of games on it, but I've also had eh, games on it. So I, I want to say I like it more than, like, some of these. But, like, in the same sense, uh, I'm going to put it in B, but not... Hello? I'm going to put it in B, but not in the bad way, like... It's okay. It's a, it's a good map. At least it's cool. I don't know how fantastic it is, though. And I do know there's an S and D spot. Like, you can get to the bomb faster than one side, and that's kind of stupid. I don't like that. But I don't play S and D. So, with that being said, I'm putting it in B. Burkuda. <laughs> now, this might come to a surprise. I love Burkuda. Burkuda and me are, like, best friends. I don't know why. It might just be because, you know, it reminds me of the Black Ops 1 mission or whatnot. But, Burkuda, I kind of like. It's a snow map, too, and I fucking love snow maps. I'm putting it S. If if I wasn't so biased, I could even see high higher A. I don't think it would be much worse. I'm, I'm putting it S. And then we have Nuketown. Nuketown came November 1st, so it's been here for almost exactly two weeks. Where would I put it? So... <sighs> Usually with camo grinding maps, I just put them down below. But Nuketown, I don't see as much of a camo grinding map. But they need to put it in the regular rotation, like regular 6v6. Because the only way I know how to play it is in 24-7, which is stupid. Or 10v10. I don't like that. I want it in a regular playlist. But besides that, I kind of fuck with Nuketown this year. But yeah, I, I, I just, I don't know. I, I like Nuketown this year. It's not too terrible. I could see myself playing it. Yeah, I'll put it here for now. I think this is going to be my list. I think I'm fine with everything here. Like I said, I don't mind playing Babylon. The pit, I would prefer not to play. But like if I do play it, it's probably going to be for like some type of challenge. I think I like my list. Family, season one, right around the corner. New battle pass. New operator, new guns, new maps, new zombies. Well, actually, new zombie stuff, I believe, all comes season one. Unless we get, like, new augments and stuff tomorrow, which I'm not sure. The big day is tomorrow. So, family, do you agree with my list at all? Probably not. I'm going to be honest. But if you do, cool. Remember, it is a beautiful day to play video games. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. Helps out greatly. Also, if you want to join the Discord, talk to more committed people of the community, write down in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.